What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianca Nerd Zone, where we are going to talk about Modric, uh, who, funnily enough, is potentially a target for this club, as you can see on the news, and funnily enough, uh, I mentioned it, I think about three weeks ago, when I said, we're going to sign free agents, and Modric is one you should be looking at, but probably have no shot at getting uh, but we're going to talk about Modric, and I will end up with a funny story on uh, the Shilio. So stay tuned for that. Before we do that, like the video, subscribe, and let's go. Okay, so like I mentioned a couple of weeks ago on Modric, I said, and if he's a free agent option, he should at least try to reach out. I'm not saying he's jumping to join this UV project. I'm not saying that, you know, maybe he's like, no, if I leave Real Madrid, I will go MLS and I will chill, you know, who knows. But I said you should be at least in the mix in terms of you should be at least asking him if that's possible. Now, the news story is from Tuto Sport saying that Modric could become a real opportunity for UV next season <clears throat> after his deal with Real Madrid is basically set to expire this summer. Now, we also do know that Real Madrid are looking to extend him for one year, but he is looking at the situation, he's like, I want to play football. I want to play football, and he's being used as a sub now because Ancelotti is using the younger players, which is fair enough, by the way, but he's saying, I want to play. You know, I want to be some sort of main guy. Now, when we were in for Felipe Anderson, I explained why, or I explained why I think we were in for Felipe Anderson. Free agent, cheap, and we need free agent signings because we need so much this season. You know, and financially, we cannot buy that much, you know. So we're going to need to be signing free agent. It's going to happen. But it needs to be the right one. That's basically it. If you tell me you can get Modric for even one year plus one, whatever, I'll take it. Because we're going to we're gonna need to sign free agents. And I'd rather sign these type of free agents than other free agents I've seen us being linked with, by the way. I've seen us being linked with free agents where you're like, no way we can do that. No way. Not even on a free. We, we should be not be touching that that type of, type of deal. However, if you tell me you can get Modric for one season, yes. At least one, 100% certain. We are going to need to play a lot of games. The narrative out there that he's slow, that he cannot play every single week is BS. Because he's not going to play every single week. We are playing so many games, he's going to get subbed. If he can give me 60 minutes every single week, he will dominate Serie A. He will. Like, the league is slow. The league is extremely slow in Italy. It is. He will be. He will have no issue with that type of pace. And even when he comes on in Champions League games for Real Madrid, he doesn't look out of place. When he starts him, he doesn't look out of place because he's a class player yes he's 36 or whatever i get i get that that's why i said one year and i also do not think he's going to play every single week you'll take modric for one year look at our state look at the state of our midfield we don't have the money to buy all these players we don't alcaraz will probably is gone Miretti will probably be loaned out Fajoli is coming back. Rabiot might leave. McKennie is certainly not certain. We need to fix that midfield. We cannot sign four players. It's not going to happen. You can sign them if they're free. And one of them is Modric. Again, I'm not saying Modric is jumping for that solution. I don't think... He, actually, I think if he leaves from Madrid, he goes MLS. I don't think he, he wants to do that. But if you try to convince him, and he's actually yes, 100% I'll take him for one year. That's good for Fajoli to learn under. 100%. And in the league... Perfect. He will dominate. He will dominate because he's class. Like he's a class footballer. He will do what he will do without any issues in Serie A. So 100% I will take that deal for a one-year deal. One, like I, I wouldn't even doubt. Like I, I, I wouldn't even doubt it. You know, I think if you tell Mota or whatever is the coach, you can get Modric for at least one season. He's like, yeah, man. I'm new at this club. If I get that type of experienced player in that position in the pitch, on the pitch, I'll take it because I don't know the youngsters. I don't know the players, excuse me. I'm just coming in right here. So, and even if I get new players, I need to fit them in on in a new system for me, even for these new guys as well. I can use experience. We don't know how Fajoli's coming back after one year of playing no football, not injured, 
but no match fitness. Maybe he's going to need some time to actually get into it, basically. We don't have experience at this club. You might say Danilo, but he's not a good player. I don't care if he played for Madrid or Man City. He's not a good player. If you can plug that hole with a player like Modric, you have a leader who's actually world-class still, especially in Serie A, no doubt. And if you pair them with, if you want Cope Miners, fine. If you pair that group with the Cope Miners and maybe uh, an Ederson from Atalanta, I don't know who we have been linked with, I'll take it. Easy. Is it going to happen? Probably no chance. <laughs> like No chance, probably. But because it was a debate, because it was a new story, and people are saying he's too old, he's too this, I get that. But one year to bridge a gap, because we need so many signings, I'll take it because he will be perfectly fine in Serie A and even in Champions League football. Not playing every week, I get that. That was also not like that's also not going to happen if you bring in Modric. But still, it will be perfectly fine. Now I said I'm going to talk about the Chilio because it was a funny story, and it's from Gretel Sport, and they're saying that the Chilio's future with Juve seems very much linked to whether Allegri remains or not. Even if Allegri says, "Juntoli, are we pissed?" But you tell uh, the Chilio, goodbye. Goodbye. Because what is actually the point? Actually, ever since he started him against Lazio, was rubbish, as expected. He's gone again. Like, he's gone again. I don't even know where the Chilio is. He started, got stopped at halftime, disappeared again. All that with Diallo not even getting garbage time minutes. It's actually crazy. Like, where is the Chilio again? What was the point of starting him and subbing him at halftime when everybody knew he was not going to be good? And two, he like he hadn't played for so much. Why would you start that? Why would you start that player in that type of game as well? Like, what was even the point? If you want to get the Chilio back going, give him twenty minutes at the end, basically. No, but he started him, and to make it worse, Diallo's not even getting the twenty minutes, let alone the like not even five minutes. To waste time, whatever, you know, you go out there and uh, waste some time, you know, with the subs and do your thing, basically. Not even that. But the Chilio did. Now, his future shouldn't be tied with Allegri. His future should be tied with common sense. And common sense says you're not good. 1.5 million or 1.5 euro, it's a waste of money. Ship him out. Find a way to get him out. That should be a priority, no matter who the coach is. It's Allegri, it's Pep Guardiola or Mota, or if it's actually nobody is a coach. You move these players on. Get rid of these players right now. I don't care what wages they're on. Get rid. But I thought it was funny that it was linked with Allegri. It shouldn't be linked with Allegri. It should be linked with the club. However, let me know what you think about Modric. Would you take him on a one-year deal? At least a one-year deal? Yes or no? And let me know why yes or why no. Um... But that's it for this one. Like the video, subscribe, and I will see you guys back later. Ciao.